and next word to application of differentiation and next word application of differentiation in application of differentiation first part is errors and approximations The first one is errors and approximations. Suppose if x is a, if x is any variable, if x is any variable, then delta x, then delta x represents delta x or small delta x. It represents delta x or delta x, small delta x represents a change in x. Change in x. and delta x is compare with and delta x is very small compare with x so the delta x is less than x let y is equal to f of x be a function be a function defined y is equal to f of x be a function defined on an interval capital a and x belongs to small a and x belongs to small a delta x is called change in x and delta y is called corresponding change in y corresponding change in y therefore delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x delta f is or delta y is equal to delta f or delta y is equal to f of x plus delta x minus f of x f of x and next word differentiation this is delta y is dy is equal to f dash x into delta x dy is equal to f dash x into delta x and the approximate change approximate change in f approximate change in f is represented as f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus f dash x f into delta x there is approximate change in f is represented as f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus f dash x into delta x suppose if y is equal to f of x be a function if y is equal to f of x be a function then delta y is called error in y error in y and delta y by y is called relative error in y relative error in y then delta y by y into 100 delta y by y into 100 is called as percentage error in y percentage error in y if y is equal to f of x be a function is a defined in an interval capital a when x belongs to a Okay, delta y is called error in y. Delta y by y is called relative error in y. Delta y by y into 100 is called percentage error in y. Some useful formulas. Here, f of x is equal to x square plus 2. f of x is equal to x square plus 2. Then it's derivative. x square derivative is 2x plus 2 derivative 0 of delta x. substitute the values of x and delta x that is a 2 of 10 of 0.1 that is equal to 2 therefore df value of df is equal to 2 df is equal to 2 find approximate value of approximate value of sin 62 degrees approximate value of sin 62 degrees when 1 degree is equal to 0.001745 when 1 degree is equal to 0.001745 let us consider it f of x is equal to sin x here known value is a consider as x that is 60 to 60 degrees and unknown value is delta x that is 2 degrees unknown value is consider as delta x the approximate value that is approximate change f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus f dash x into delta x 
f of x plus f dash x into delta x. Here f of x is sin x, sin x plus derivative of sin x is cos x into delta x. Substitute the value of x and delta x that is sin 60 degrees plus cos 60 degrees into delta x value is 2 degrees. Delta x value is 2 degrees. Here sin 60 value is root 3 by 2 plus cos 60 value is 1 by 2 plus 2 of 1 degree value 0 0.01745. 0 0.01745 here total gets cancelled here root 3 value is 1.732 by 2 plus 0 0.01745 0 0.01745 that is 0 0.866 plus 0 0.01745 approximate value is 0 0.87 874 approximate value, approximate value of sin 62 degrees, approximate value of sin 62 degrees is 0 0.8745 and next one, the approximate value of square root of 82. The approximate value of a square root of 82. Here square root of 82 is converted into here square root of 82. The nearest value of perfect square is 81. That is square root of 81 plus 1. Let x equal to 81. Delta x is equal to 1. And f of x is equal to root x. f of x is equal to root x. Therefore, the approximate value that is f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus delta x is equal to f of x plus f dash x into delta x. f of x plus f dash x into delta x. Here f of x equal to root x. Root x plus f dash x root x derivative 1 by 2 root x of delta x. Substitute the value of x and delta x that is square root of 81 plus 1 by 2 into square root of 81 the delta x value is 1. It is a 9 plus 1 by 18. 9 plus 1 by 18. The approximate value of 9 plus 1 by 18 value. Approximately 0 0.057. The approximate value is 9.057. The approximate value of square root of 82. Square root of 82 is 0. The 9.057 approximate value. And next one. If the side of a square is The side of a square is 3 centimeters. If the side of a square is 3 centimeters, then find then find relative error and percentage error. Relative error and percentage error in its area. In its area. And delta R is equal to 0, 0.0 and delta X is equal to 0 0.01 and delta X is equal to 0 0.01. Let us consider that side of a square is equal to X. That side of a square is equal to X given X is equal to 3 centimeters and delta X is equal to 0 0.01 centimeters. Delta x equals 0 0.01 centimeters. Then area of a square. Area of a square a is equal to x square. Apply log on both sides. Then log a is equal to log of x square. Log of x square can be written as a 2 log x. Log of x square can be written as a 2 log x. Derivative. There is a log a derivative. Differentiate. So 1 by a into delta a is equal to. 
2 of 1 by x delta x. 2 of 1 by x delta x. Therefore, delta a by a is equal to 2 of here delta x value is 0 0.01 by 3. Delta x value is 0 0.01 by 3 is equal to 0 0.02 by 3. Approximate value. That is a relative error. And next one multiply 100 on both sides. That is a delta a by a into 100 is equal to 0 0.023 by 0 0.02 by 3 into 100. It is equal to 2 by 3. That is a percentage error. There is a percentage error in the area of a square. 